Hey, how's it going, guys? So basically, I got a lot of questions, um, kind of asking a little bit more in depth or details about each section and how I studied for it and um, kind of my techniques and things like that, just to how I got my, how I you know was able to get the score that I got. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a video for each section of the ASFAB um, from my perspective. I mean, keep in mind I'm not an expert. I'm a knucklehead, I'm a dummy, so like, um, it's just kind of, you know, what I did to study for it, um, and just overall how to, like, just get a good score, um, um, but yeah, keep in mind, like, you know, I'm not an expert, I'm not a pro, I'm not a tutor, I just, you know, this is what I did, and, you know, hopefully it works out for you, too, because, and just keep in mind, you know, that, um, on top of what I, kind of, my advice, and then, you know, also, you know, kind of take that next, that, a bigger step forward and, you know, just apply yourself and then you'll do, you'll do fine. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm no genius. So, um, so basically like, I mean, first thing I would suggest is make sure just to go online. I think there's one called ASFAB practice test.com or something like that. Yeah. ASFAB practice test.com. Um, you know, take the practice test online and get a book too. It could be any um, book. Um, try to get a current one. I think the one I used was a little bit outdated. Um, so I think that's why there were some questions on there that I didn't, um, you know, I hadn't seen before. So that was kind of weird. But um, but yeah, I'm going to go through each section um, on what I did and what I studied. Um, and so hopefully it helps out. Um, and then, oh yeah, I mean, absolutely like subscribe because, you know, that way you can get alerted each time. Um, I upload a video f um, for each section, so um, so I'm gonna start with the electrical section. Um, that one I scored the highest. I scored at 82, um, and I mean before that ASFAB, I didn't know sh anything about electronics other than like how to you know put batteries into my TV remote or <laughs> um, plug in my my guitar into my amp, um, my amp to my speakers, things like that. So like just I I can jump a car, you know. If a car battery dies, you know, get that going. But, I mean, other than that, I didn't know anything. Um, so, um, first thing first was I went to, I have my book. Um, and then I went to um, asfabpracticetest.com. I went to the electronics section and I just answered all the questions. Not caring, like, what, if I knew the right answer or not, I just answered them. Um, because at the very end, you can print out the pages and then see what you got wrong and then it'll give you the right answer with an explanation um so when i would see you know i, I print everything out i think i did screenshots to actually get each page with the answer on them um then i went back to my book and i started referencing that way i didn't just start reading the book um because it's trying to put um pick up that knowledge right away just by reading the chapters is really confusing i wanted to know like what the test was going to ask me and then know what those answers are and start from there um so i didn't fill up my brain my very small brain with information that wasn't necessary um so that's kind of how i went about it um and you know i mean overall like once you see once you take you know take the practice test over and over again and you, you'll start to it'll start to like click um you'll start seeing the same kind of questions over and over again um, and you'll be able to answer them. So, um, so basically, and I, I took some notes here, so I'm sorry, I'm going to like try to read from them, but, um, let's see what we got. So, um, what you're going to see a lot also on the practice test, um, and, and I actually on the ASFAB for electronics section, um, I'm going to pull up too. So, um, actually, you know, actually I found online too, that, um, if you search, um, ASFAB study guide PDF. Um, some people have actually like loaded the whole like 2017 ASFAB for dummies book um, online. So I think like the second or third um, search result will get you that uh, book. So uh, let me just pull it up um, and I'll tell you what I remember seeing on a test. So Okay, sorry. Only that. Okay, electronics information. So basically, remember, start with the practice test first. Um, 
get all those correct answers and what to explain it and um, here's what's gonna the things you'll need to know on it so um, there's gonna be a lot of terms that you're gonna need to know um, I just use flashcards and I just wrote them down um, so those terms are volts, ampres, ohms, current, watt, watt hours so just look those up um, in your book and know the meaning of those and um, just the definitions so that's those will definitely all be in there 100% uh, guaranteed those will be in there um, there will be for watt hours there are definitely a question on converting which is like I think it's again I'm sorry like I'm like kind of don't remember exactly how to do this again because when I studied it I took the test and then it leaves my mind so um, there's gonna be a watt to hour and I think it's just a simple multiplication question um, but look that up know that okay so um, there's a formula for that um, what else uh, you're gonna want to know circuit um, that's gonna be on their definition of circuit what is a wire terminal battery um, short short is going to be on there like what is a short um, voltage that's going to be on there um, let's see what else um, you want to know how to measure what kind of instrument measures volts that's definitely going to be on there or measure resistance uh, that's going to be on there um, you want to know what an electrical current is um, resistance, um, I don't know if I said that, but yeah, resistance is definitely going to be on there. Um, know the definition of resistance. Um, you want to know how to add or remove resistance. Um, and like I said, like I know I'm just like kind of like telling you what to study, but then your book, com combined with the online test, you'll be able to find these. Um, no problem. Um, you really want to know Ohm's Law, which is basically like it's a simple uh, kind of algebraic equation. Um, so know Ohm's Law really well because you're going to get questions um, where you're going to need to convert um, volts to ampres and resistance. So you'll be able to do all of those things with these simple formulas. Um, so know those really well because you'll probably have more than, I think that will probably boost your score the most if you know that formula. Um, and there's a few ways to write it, so you need to know like kind of uh, like one example is like current equals volts over resistance. Um, so know that no volts equals current times resistance, and then no uh, resistance resistance equals voltage over current. So um, just look up Ohm's law. That's like very important. Um, that will help you a lot. Um, you want to know how to measure power um, and like one of the questions I was on there was like um, power equals and then it'll give you like three, four choices or whatever and then you just know that power equals is measured in watts or power equals watts um, kilowatt hours there's gonna be some like conversion questions in there um, if I remember correctly so um, look out for those type of things um, again like the practice test that will show you you'll get a bunch of examples on that so um, you're gonna want to know uh, what a circuit is and there's different types of circuits um, and know that a current moves from positive to negative I don't know exactly what that means but I just memorized it <laughs> and then it was it was in there so um, so, uh, what else? Uh, talked about that. You want to know, like, um, kind of like a, what a how a, a magnetic motor runs. Um, kind of, I used to like get like these like kind of like electronic or like radio control cars, and the motor in it was uh, a magnet, and I just watch it like spin around. So. Um, it'll ask you something like that, like, 
um, how a magnetic engine generates power, and I, I think it's revolving power, so. I'm a dummy, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it was on there, so. Um, you wanna know um, the difference between alternating current and um, direct current? Um, direct current is from one point to another, alternating, it, cha it can change. Um, so just look out for that AC DC. Um, so know the definitions of that and um, how that works. Um, again, I just put these things on flashcards. Um, try to try to learn frequency, um, the basics, um, whatever is in the book. So that'll be on there. Um, definitely will be on there. Um, impedance. Um, you want to know the definition of that. What a um, capacitive. Or capacitance and inductance. You want to know those um, terms. Um, and then there's a, f a basic like formula for um, impedance, which is elect electromotive force over current. Um, I think that was on the test um, for me. Um, capacitor, uh, capacitors, inductors, um, that was on there. Um, what a rectifier is and and how that works. Um, semiconductor diodes that was definitely on there, um, and kind of some basic radio questions like uh, uh, yeah transistors diodes, um, collector. So just know those kind of terms. Um, they're gonna ask you like they're probably maybe like simple questions on there I heard like as you go and answer something right the next question is harder or if you get it wrong the next question is easier um, so I don't it may be different for each person but you'll get like questions like what is a wire um, just know like cell battery DC power supply uh, AC power supply uh, transformer that was on there for me it was on there like you know what what is a transformer um, ground how ground works um, motor oh remember I was talking about uh, a magnetic motor like spinning around it's called kinetic energy so remember that um, you're gonna get a bunch of kind of like or I got a few that were just like these like drawings like little diagram drawings um, and then so there's most likely in the book in a practice test you'll just you'll you'll see something um, I know I had these on online where uh, it asked me like you know what is like what is you know what's that and then I you know in, in just multiple choice so um, you know DC power supply just memorize memorize all those like little cartoon things um, so I mean some of them like what helped me is like like that one like that's an, an antenna because it looks like I don't know why but it looks like a bird foot like going, like sticking up straight in the air to me so it was easy to remember remember the one for resistor that was definitely on there on and off switch which is like really easy to to know because or to memorize because it looks like that so when it's Touching each other, it's on. When it's not touching each other, it's off. Um, transformer, memorize that one. Um, it looks like two like Simpson hands, like trying to hold, <laughs> trying to touch. Um, yeah, just memorize those. A battery will be in there. Uh, memorize that. Um, memorize inductor. Memorize like what. Ma like materials um, help with resistance uh, insul resistance or um, or can act as an insulator what solder does um, you know what that material does um, with wires um, that was definitely on there um, what a switch is I think I probably said that um,
rheostat that was on their capacitor um, you know it stores electric electric energy um, that's on there diode that is definitely on there uh, transistor amplifier antenna those were all on there um, so again things to like really to remember are all the important terms like current voltage resistance power energy um, current is amps voltage is volts resistance is ohms power is watts um, and energy is watts per hour um, memorize ohm's law like the um, the formula for that because you will be putting numbers into it um, uh, know that current flows from a negative pole to a positive um, know what AC DC is just know that electronic devices operate at high frequencies a transistor can amplify the signal amplify a signal um, and if something if a device that changes from alternating current AC to DC then it's a rectifier uh, not a transformer I, that's always, I always get that one mixed up but it's, it rectifies um, and so that's pretty much it for the electronics section I hope that helped like I, I hope I kind of broke it down a little bit more for you guys um, but like I, like I said just try the practice test and then get all the correct answers first and then go back to the book and review those questions re-answer them so you, so you can get get the right ones and then find another practice test and just keep going through that way um, that way you don't bog your mind down with things that um, won't really be important um, or you know just think information that you just don't need Other, you just want to know what's going to be on the te test roughly what's going to be on the test and what to study um, so, and then for me those were the things that were definitely on the test and I definitely had to study um, so anyways um, next I'll probably try to do the uh, shop questions and assembling objects because those are pretty straightforward um, and then I'll get into like the um, the math stuff which is like I said I'm a dummy I just studied um, I was able to get it and I probably forgot all of it by now so anyways don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like or comment ask a bunch of questions that way I know what to put into the next one um, and uh, I'll talk I'll basically be talking to you guys soon so see you later Sorry, one more thing. I totally forgot to say. Um, I was thinking about it after I, I put all my stuff away, but um, they're gonna give they're gonna give you a diagram. It's gonna have like a battery, like a and uh, some resistance things. It's gonna ask you like what kind of circuit this is, I, and look that up. It's like circuit types, like there's like a parallel circuit, series parallel. So know those two, um, and there's a formula for calculating resistance know that because I think I had two of those on there um, which it looks like like this division problem um, I'll try to put it in the comments um, the formula for that but um, if you know yeah memorize all that junk um, do the practice test and you should do fine um, yeah try not to get too bogged down with all the big words anything like that just memorize um, Memorize what you can with flashcards and the, and the formulas, and uh, you should be good to go. So uh, I'll talk to you later.